Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video where I'm at Edgecombe once again. It took me a while to get into gear this morning so after a quick walk around the deer park and woodland I sat myself down to admire the sea views and to have some breakfast and of course a good old sip of hot chocolate. I was then ready to head back to the deer park to hopefully see some more deer and after that it was time to see what the low tide had revealed at the beach. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you enjoyed my journey and all the things I've seen this morning. And as you can see, I've now made it to the beach after a brief visit to see HMS Duncan come in. So, if you've seen my last video, you would have heard me say this. You won't be able to see, but there's actually one, probably right where I'm pointing, oh, down a bit, round about here. And that's what I'm really wanting to get. And if you haven't seen that video, it will be up here. And as I've just said, there it is. The anti-submarine defense is nice and open and it's nice and visible to see. So I'm gonna make a way across the rocks now and let's go take some photos. So here it is down nice and close to it. Tide's on its way in, but I should be okay here for now. And as you can tell by the shape of it, if you hit that in a boat, you're definitely going down, aren't you? So you can see why it's called an anti-submarine defense, especially if you hit that coming over the rocks, or even, I reckon it was maybe pushed out further a bit, maybe the tides sprang it in. So when the like U-boats um, would try and come around uh, this channel, it would hit that and not make it any further in towards the dockyard and the Devil's Point area. So, photo wise, I've got a second hand 14 to 42 Panasonic and it's good lens. I've had it um, for a few days now, been able to try it in various different places and it's a nice little lens. So, I've actually taken a few test shots with uh, normal settings. So, I believe I took it with. 320th of a second, f11, low ISO at 100. Just a basic shot to see what it's like in and around. Um, and yeah, it was still a bit, a bit boring really. So, ND for it straight on. There we go. Just see that tide coming in quickly. Um, it will come in quickly here, but I should be okay in a specific position because the tide will come over the rocks and that's when I'll know it's time to go. Luckily, my boots are somewhat waterproof as well. Um, I'll just show you my composition as well. Now you might be able to see through the ND water. So, we've got the anti-submarine defence here. We've got the hoe here. Just make out Smeaton's tower there, which is perfect. And then we've got Cat Down behind there. And of course, Drake's Island. It's looking really good, nice scene. And so I'm going to be shooting it in 16 to 9 ratio, like usual. Just put it back to manual. I really like to shoot in manual, that's because I can have control of uh, all the settings. Boom, three second timer. Oh, this tide's coming in quick. Maybe I'll have to move quickly than I thought, which I'm actually okay with because I can try out more angles. So what that's looking like. Oh, here comes a wave. Cancel it there. Yeah, that looks nice. Just basic, but really nice still. Just gonna turn the settings down to five seconds now, an F11, because the hoe, with the reflections of the building, it's really, how can I say it? Kind of overexposing them a bit. So I'm just making sure to up the second timer 
second timer. The shutter, so it's all nice and equal. But yeah, looking good. Thank you for everyone's support of my last video. It's doing really well. So thank you for that. And if you're new here, hello. Perfect. Right, I'm actually, I'm gonna move myself that way to try and get a really nice panorama, hopefully including the hoe. Really good clear view of Drake's Island and the anti-submarine defense to the right. So let's do it. So right into the new composition, let's have a look. So currently at 18 millimeters, I'm actually gonna bring it back out to 14. Um, change the aspect ratio back to four thirds. I think that's how you say it. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But where's this? Right, that'll do me. Get the horizon straight. Just really gonna take one. Just trying to see what the foreground's like and the background like this. I've kind of got a plan already, but I just need to wait for the tide to come in a bit. See what that's like. Um, yeah, it's okay. I don't think I'll take many like that, just because it's a bit too big and it's not really showing you what the main subject is, which of course is anti-submarine defense. So, change it back into 16 to nine and get it nice and composed like so and then I'll put you onto the camera here it's similar to the last composition actually so now we've got the anti-submarine defense to the right a clear view of Drake's Island you might be able to see Smeena's tower there just above the rock which is nice and then the rest of the hoe here we go everyone press the shutter button like that yeah get in the shade here we go tires coming in a bit quicker now so I'll make sure to move location in a minute. There we go. Right, cancel it there. How's that looking? So, anti-submarine defense, nice and clear on the right. Drake's all in nice and clear in the middle. And to the left, we've got Plymouth Ho off in the distance. Is that nice and clear? Yeah, decent. And then we've got the foreground down here. Really nice photo. And one I look forward to posting soon. And I like this. Really nice composition. It's got everything what is of interest, I guess you could say. So, back to manual. What have we got? Uh, six seconds, F11, ISO back to low 100. And I'll just take that whilst I speak to you. Looking good. Um, yeah, it's nice here. Nice to be able to come back and get a picture of it. I actually just noticed a bit of rope on the top there, which will be swaying in the photo. That's not a problem, it creates a bit of movement, which sometimes in photos you like to get. And of course, with the movement, it tells a story. And I always like to try and tell a story of my photos. Sometimes it's not easy to, but sometimes it's really easy to. So, in this situation, we've got the anti-submarine defense, and that, of course, tells a lot of stories from back in the day. And unfortunately, I'm not sure of anyone who might know any stories, but hopefully one day I do, when I come back again, and I can tell you those. But yeah, really nice. Let's have a look at those photos, shall we? Yeah, they're really nice, actually. And I'll put them up now. So, after a quick walk around, I'll find another composition here. And this time, I'm actually going to get, see this, uh, it's almost like a cable. And if I'm correct, let me just mean to do that. If I'm correct, it attaches to the anti-submarine defense to stop it from drifting away. Now, I'm not sure if this is this one, or it's another one, because actually there was actually one buried out further. But yeah, not sure. And I'm really hoping to find someone or something that can tell me more about these. Because I feel like when you, just, you can like learn about what you're taking the subject off, it really helps you like tell the story. So, back to the photo. Just gonna get it nice and straight. And I'll quickly take one before showing you the composition. 
As you can tell, the tide's coming in nice and quickly now. I believe the time has gone past quite considerably the low tide. We've got the, my finger, navigation mast, submarine defence, and we've got the cable gunner here. And this kind of tells the story of the cable, like attaching it, but it might also be like, uh, what can you call it? Electricity cable, just any cable to be honest. It really tells the story of the mystery almost. So yeah, that's the composition. So I hope you like it. And straight in with the photo. I'm making sure to get this rock, I believe. Is it this one? Where's my finger? Yeah, so this one, I'm trying to actually get it all in. Because I'm not really a fan of cropping out the full rock, which I've actually done a bit too much. And then I'm focusing on the anti-submarine defense because that's the main subject. So I'm going to be doing that. And then taking the photo. So of course, same settings, six seconds, F11, ISO 100, and it's looking good. This morning wasn't easy, I think I can say. I'm not really a fan of early mornings, and I didn't get much sleep. It was, it was an early morning. I was up by, um, out of bed by five. And I've been up to the deer park, which you would have seen. Hopefully I've got some nice clips. I've not really had time to have a look, but the wind was just bouncing the lens up and down, which is really annoying. But I came back down from the folly, seen HMS Somerset come out, and I'm not really feeling it, so. I looked to my left, out coming around the corner was Duchess and ran down the hill, make sure I get in a nice position to get some nice photos and got a hoe in the background and I think I got a clip actually, so I'll show you that now of her heading into the sun. But yeah, that was really nice to see and this might be the title of the video or not, but I think even if you have bad days and don't have the motivation to get out of bed, even like, just don't feel it to be honest. Always make sure that you give 100% to try and, how do I say it? Do what you want to do and get out and take photos because you never know what might happen. Like I was not expecting to see Duchess today at all, but I have and it's made my day. And not also that, I've seen HMS Duncan come in. I got some really nice photos. I wasn't expecting that. And I've also got some nice photos here. So it's all always worth it. So. Try your best, always give 100% and enjoy it. That's what I can say. But yeah, I think I'll be done here for now. I might try and find a nice spot to have some hot chocolate and I'll say goodbye and goodbye. Flask time. Just finished up taking photos. Um, I think the tide was coming in too quickly for my liking so it was really hard to find some more compositions but now I know it's easily accessible at a low tide. I'm definitely going to come back sometime. Right, less talking and more drinking. I hope it's still hot. Let's have a look. Just, just. Yeah, delicious. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something and enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to try and put some deer clips from the start and then some at the end. So if that's the case, I hope you enjoy those clips and I hope you enjoy the photos too. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.